Welcome back to the show. If you are just joining us, this is KTN Life and Cell Artistic Thursday. And this morning, we've taken you to the Talanta Institute, where we're getting to see a glimpse of so, so much talent. My goodness, it is absolutely shocking what these kids can do from singing to dancing to spoken word pieces. There is nothing that they cannot do. Take a look at what they have next for you. Anywhere you go, London, USA. No more be like what you know, a home of opportunities. Anywhere you go, New York, Chicago. No more be like what you know, a home of opportunity. I do what you know, I yo. Eh, 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 my uncle, eh, 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 Karibu Kitty. Utapewa nini, it was my dream. That one day, I would fly out of this country in search of greener pastures. But as if fate would have it, my secondary education started proving me otherwise. It became very difficult for me to attain a pass in any of our cuts and rats. Guiding and counseling became a permanent place for me, with no effect, for my grades kept on going down and down. As the Kenyan soccer FIFA ranking, I would score extraordinary E's and fantastic F's in my examination. But one day, an opportunity arrived for me to journey to Wadena. And when that day arrived, I simply dropped out of school, packed my earthly belongings, and bid my parents goodbye, and went to the airport. So slay queens of cute smiles, ah, and the others, men of mute style, accompany me in my flight. I'm not boarding. I'm not boarding. I'm all with me in my flight, and I will take you through my narration. The journey to Wadina, Talanta Institute production. Anywhere you go, London, USA, no I feel like Wadina, a home of opportunities. Ati Wadina, wa yo, eh, 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 my uncle, eh, 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 Karibu Kiti, Utapewa Nini, Una Rifle to Wadina. Wa, 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 wa. It was like heaven on earth. We would bring sugar-coated oxygen and we were received as king. We were then taken to a godown where our host forcefully took our traveling documents, snatched our phones, and we were taken to a godown where we saw many others who looked to have suffered even more than us. It was the total opposite of our dreams. Not even our worst nightmares could paint such pictures. We were served with a three-course meal of hard push-ups for breakfast. And at lunchtime, we were given a delicacy of hot peppered slabs. And for supper, we were given some sheer insult. The only food we saw was flying vegetables, aka cockroaches. And we were forced to do any given instruction at any time without questioning or resistance, any form of resistance would attract to a severe public punishment which will leave the victim half dead and this was meant to drive a very serious message in our life that every instruction must be followed to the latter wadina 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 ah, wadina wadina but one day for the first time in the history of Wadina, we were taken to a grand reception for a meeting and we were told that an opportunity had arrived for us to go to the promised land, get rich and become one of the most influential people on earth. And all we needed to do was to undertake some training in which in any way it had to be successful. Since we had no otherwise, we went for a serious military training. Mama told, Mama told Talanta not to go downtown. Mama told Talanta not to go downtown. The guns was grrrra, pa 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 pa, chon chu cha chu cha. And after days, weeks, months of hard training, the time finally arrived for us to execute the mission. The mission that will lead us to greatness. I was put in charge of our, of our, of our mission that was sent to the continent of the black and I remember the instruction a friend to our enemy is our enemy wipe them out 
every soldier was strategically positioned. As I entered the building, pretending to be a customer, and when the signal was right, and the time for me to hurl the grenade was now. Five, four, three. On one hand, I was burning with ambition to get the promised money that we were promised. But on the other hand, I was shaking for the dear life, for the blood of the innocent people that I was about to shed. But innocent or not innocent, I continued with the countdown. Two, one, zero, zero point five. And that is when I heard a voice, a voice that was so familiar to me since childhood. It was my mother's voice. I ran to her. What a perfect reunion. We were then taken for interrogation, and our so-called bosses in Wadina, they were arrested. And as I speak today, I joined Talanta Institute, and I have joined a mission to educate any young man who would like to journey to Wadina to be extremely careful in order for them not to go to my tail. Barua choka shirima the empire to jiangali evane. Tuko baba ya lokuli kujana. Usi pochenga ufa uta chenga ukuta. Tafadali don't you go to Wadina? Ni hao, only ni watch a me be la faham, ku ni a kozam, angalau, unge nambia eti unakam, ni tulize ham, wangu watati. Njama zangu zimene kwa mia mikononi Labda huni mwisho watunia Safiri salama msalimu maulana Tutaona na batai Safiri salama msalimu maulana Tutaona na batai I wish, I wish, I wish that RIP wouldn't mean rest in peace but return if possible. The pain is fresh, the wounds are still bleeding. Yes, you were gone but never forgotten. Looking through the mirror, Remembering how beautiful you were, your eyes, your hair, your smile, your kiss. Am I on the outside or am I inside? Pain reflects on us sometimes. All I can do, Bug, is grin. What if, what if the glass shatters? Will the pain stop or will the clock of pain tick tock as the rain drops? They say that the eye is the window of the soul. Then I shall keep mine closed so that the world cannot see my pain because no one in the world can stop the pain. I wonder what reflection the world sees of itself because if the world could see itself, it will actually play sleep. Still, I'm standing here near your grave, pain chipped on the frame. I'm trying speaking to you, but my words are only forged up, disappeared, and my tears evaporated. I wish, I wish that R.I.P. wouldn't mean rest in peace, but return if possible. But you actually knew you were going. That's why you even left me a letter. Hi, babe. I don't know why I'm writing this letter. I hope this letter never gets to you. Because if it does, that means I am no more. And also means that I never had time to show you just how much I really loved you. <laughs> so, Mr. Terrorist, on Friday night you took an exceptional life. The love of my life, my other half, the mother of my child, but... I will not give you my hatred, no. 
I don't know you and I don't want to know you. You are dead souls. You've shown me what love is and what it feels like to be loved. Every time I was on your arms, I could feel it. I could feel when our heart gets so close, beating as one to each other. You are the person I knew I could turn to when I needed a smile, a shoulder to lean on, and a friend. I love you, babe. When I am away, I... 8.47 p.m. The pen fell. Reason why? I cannot tell. On the TV, breaking news, hell broke loose, and now she is no more. But no, Mr. Terrorist, I will not grant you the gift of my hatred. I saw her this morning. Finally, after days and nights of waiting, she was just as beautiful as when she left on Friday night, just as beautiful as when I hopelessly fell in love with her. And I know that we will forever be with us, watching us from heaven, and that one day we will find ourselves in this paradise of free love to which you have no access of. So, Mr. Terrorist, I will not grant you the gift of my hatred. You are asking for it, but returning to anger with hatred is falling victim to the same ignorance that has made you what you are. We are just two, my son and I, but we are stronger than all the armies in the world. We are powerful, we are strong, we are courageous, we are durable, we are tough. Please don't forget that, Mr. Terrorist. Please introduce yourself to us and let us know, you know, about who you are. Give us a little history of you. Okay, so my name is uh, Daniel mm -hmm. and uh, I'm born and raised uh, in Majengo, mm -hmm. uh, that is in Pumwani, okay. just here in Nairobi. Yeah. So I'm that kind of a man mm -hmm. or a boy, mm -hmm. that's how I'll term it. I'm always inspired to do what others think I can't do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and you did for us two pieces. Yeah, yeah. And it's almost like you're a bit bipolar because you're able to switch between personalities like this. Mm -hmm. So your first piece was like really dramatic with sure, the crazy sure. facial expressions. And then the second one was a bit toned down, a bit more emotional. So mm -hmm. do you have like a set of personalities which you have to just bring out for each performance that you do? So the thing about me, I perform like uh, three items. Uh, that is singing. I also do spoken word, I also do drama, that is narrative, and also I do solo work. So about my personality, uh, I've trained myself to know that what am I supposed to do at what time. So like if it is singing, I shall know that this is what I'm supposed to do. If it's spoken word, and uh, about my spoken word, if you've heard it so well, I always base it on educating people. Like the piece I've just performed, the thing that inspired me to perform this piece is about my friend. Uh, it's a story that I was told. It was about my, my friend, uh, the girlfriend. Unfortunately, she was a victim of terrorist attack. And the girlfriend let, uh, left a letter for the, for the boy. Wow. So I took that idea and decided to create a spoken word in remembering the girl and also passing a message to the terrorists that in as much as they may think they are killing us. Every day we will grow strong. Very true. Mm. Sure. All right, I love that. And uh, when it comes to your spoken word and your writing process, how do you go through it? Do you prepare your pieces stanza by stanza, or does it just come, you know, through you know inspiration? You know, it just drops on you and you just start furiously writing. Okay, so like the words I was reading in that paper, mm -hmm. I wrote them today mm -hmm. when I was here. Mm -hmm. So about spoken word. This is just something that comes in me. Mm -hmm. Like many a times I will just be walking or when I'm in the Matatu. Mm -hmm. And then a line comes on my mind, I just write it down on my, on my phone. Yeah. When I go home, I write it in my spoken word book. By that, by that, I, then I, de I develop it. After days, it becomes a whole piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and can you identify what has been one of your strongest pieces, one of your strongest spoken word pieces? So one of my strongest spoken word pieces was, um, was called Inequality. Mm -hmm. I performed this piece at uh, Usawa Festival. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's the, it's the piece that I was paid good money. That's yeah. how I can term it. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Of all the speed, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, it yeah. came with money. Sure. All right, and what other performances have you been able to do? You've done this festival you've just talked about. Where else have you been able to showcase your work? So, I've been able to showcase my work at KICC mm. uh, at a concert. Mm. That was the Tibet concert. Yeah. I also performed at churches mm -hmm. and schools. Mm -hmm. That is a high school. I've been to many high school. And about my narrative, narrative have been the overall uh, overall winning male artist mm -hmm. since the year 20, 2017, 2018 mm -hmm. in the national. Not, not to, to brag. brag, yeah, not to brag because <laughs> that's, that's what I am, yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. And who are some of the people you look up to who inspire you when it comes to either music or spoken word? I know most people say Chuakali mm -hmm. or, you know, any of those artists. <laughs> Yes. So about the person I look up to, first mm -hmm. of all, if I can say in my spoken word, mm -hmm. most of the people say teardrop. Yeah. yeah. Also me, teardrop, teardrop oh, yeah, is I the one. one. But okay. one thing I even also want to tell myself, I always tell myself, why won't people sit down and say, I look up to Shirema? Yeah. So that's... They will. They will. <laughs> that time is coming. Yeah, the why time is not? coming. So yeah. that's the thing that keeps me motivated mm -hmm. every day, that I want to do something until at a point when people will say, I look up to him. Mm -hmm. So what should we expect from you? What are we seeing from you in the near future? In the near future? Mm -hmm. eh. Are we seeing an album? Are we seeing a book of poems? What are we seeing? Eh, I've got big dreams. Big dreams. Big dreams. Big dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, one thing, I always want to help people. That is, I won't term it as my weakness, but that's the best thing about me. So I want to, to, to make people grow. Like, the level that I am right now, I won't say that I'm the same place that I was yesterday. And where I am, I'd like to bring people along with me. So, like, I have my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, Daniel Shirima, where I post my spoken word pieces, like, every Friday. Every Friday, if you just... Go and uh, check out at my YouTube account. You'll yeah. find my spoken word pieces there. All right, tell us your where we can find those on your YouTube. What is your handle? Uh, so my YouTube channel. You just go YouTube and then you search Daniel Shirima, then Utapata. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for your powerful, powerful performance today. I'm Thanks really looking forward to go to see where you're going in the future. Hey Amen. Thanks right. a lot. I'm so honored to be standing here with the man who is behind all of this, behind the Talanta Institute. Please introduce yourself to us and tell us a bit about the history of Talanta Institute. Okay, so I'm Edwin Kuria. Um, the current principal of Talanta Institute and hoping to continue this I way. I mean, you guys, does it look <laughs> yes. like your principal in high school or in primary school? No. Yeah. Nah. I mean, Talanta is about changing mm -hmm. and breaking barriers, actually mm -hmm. being trailblazers. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, professionally, I'm a journalist mm -hmm. and also an advertiser and I'm also a voiceover artist. So I'm already in the creative industry as it stands. Eh? And uh, when I joined Talanta, it was transitioning from Prince Cam Media Training Institute. So it has its foundation in Prince Cam Media Company, which is a production company which has been in existence for 13 years now. But uh, as a training institute, it's been in existence for five years. And uh, this came in to bridge the gap of uh, the mismatch between skills and employment. Because you'll find employers on one end are complaining that the guys sent out to them don't have enough skill. But on the other end, guys who are graduating are like there's not enough jobs. So there was a problem. And as Prince Cam Media, the production company, we faced that problem where every time we'd have to employ anyone, we'd have to spend so much time uh, training them. So, you know, to cut that story uh, short, we started Prince Cam Media Training Institute. At that time, it was just training media and that was 2014, but towards the end of 2016, we'd been getting so many inquiries, and we'd also been doing our research of the market to get into more creative arts. Uh, and because we, we were incorporating more things now, music, performing arts, the acting, the modeling, we could not just be Prince Cam Media Training yeah. Institute. So we had to transition to Talanta Institute, and it's been a beautiful journey all the way. All yes. right, and what has been your personal um, investment in the institute? What was your personal drive or goal or reason yeah. for accepting this position as the principal? I think my biggest drive was to, to be a voice, mm -hmm. to be a voice for talents. Because uh, whenever we hear a talent story or a progression story, the most underlying thing that you hear is a struggle. But uh, they should, that shouldn't have to be the case. They shouldn't have to struggle each and every time. And uh, that's what Talanta is coming to make it easier for them. Give them a platform. Out there, most of the talents or the creatives, uh, per se, are really misunderstood. 
they are looked at as rebels, they are looked yeah. at as people who have lost, mm -hmm. you know, their course and path. Yeah. And we are trying to, I needed to give a voice, yeah. voice to the creative art, where we are, dis we are sensitizing people that, you know what, this is a career. Um, there's no reason why you should look down upon someone. If you have two kids, for instance, and one tells you, I want to do engineering, the other one tells you, I want to be a DJ, you're an actor, you should not look at them differently. They're all pursuing a career path. So I got in to actually give them a voice, a platform, and an opportunity to excel in what they do. All right, so let's see Tandiwe, she's a singer, yes. upcoming wannabe singer. Yeah. So what would be the process for me to apply to the Talanta Institute? Okay, and what so are the requirements as mm. well? So we have different programs. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way we do it is that, one, we have programs, we have the academic programs, because we are licensed under Tiveta, mm -hmm. the certificate and diploma programs. And of course, they have the minimum grade requirement, eh, as outlined by the Ministry of Education. But then other than that, we have uh, what we call the short technical programs, which you know now under the, the new Tiveta guidelines, a school, a Tivet institution is able to do that. And that caters for those guys who are just looking for a skill and get in-school certification and then go trade on that skill. So for instance, you've talked about Sandiwe loves music mm -hmm. and perhaps you don't want to pursue a certificate or diploma because now the courses that are there in music right now are music production, music writing, vocal coaching and DJ. Yeah. So either of those disciplines. But uh, perhaps you have already been practicing it, you just want to finesse your vocal, so you're coming in for the vocal coaching. Yes. yes but you don't want to do a whole you know, certificate and diploma course. So yeah. we have shorter programs that we run from a month to three months, which now are intensive and it's one-on-one -on -one with your trainer. So what that makes you do is that focus on that one particular area that you'd like to do. And then Estalanta, we've created a space that invites creatives, whether you're a student or not, invites creatives to be able to start uh, to work on their craft, uh, mm -hmm. to get into the next level, like how are you making entrepreneurial sense out of it? Because let's, let's be honest, at the end of the day, all these young people you've seen here performing want to make an earning out of what they do. It's true. So how do you go about you know, crafting your brand? How is, what's your entry into the market and how, what's your next level? What's your progression journey? So we work with them. Of course, you'll also find sometimes they are not sure what they want to do, so yeah. we let them explore also so that they're able to be in touch and in tune with what they want to do. All right, thank you so much. That was such such an insightful conversation. And of yes. course, I will definitely be giving you a ring those vocal lessons. Yes. I am coming for them. Definitely. All right, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Wow, could these guys get any better? I'm seriously starting to have second thoughts about my career choice. I might just sign up to the Talanta Institute. And if you want to do so as well, don't worry because we got all the details on how you can sign up. But for now, we're going on a short break, but we'll be right back.